Good afternoon, everyone. This is a very special episode of Joey Tastes in English this time because now I have a very special Dutch delicacy I want to show to you all. This is called a frikandel broodje. You might have seen it in the introduction of my videos where I'm dreaming of some sort of sandwich. That's this magical thing. It's made from a frikandel, which is a Dutch deep fried uh, snack, which we like to eat, in puff pastry dough, which is this uh, little encasing here. And there's a little sauce in it. You might recognize it. It's uh, goody ketchup. So I'm going to heat this up in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds. And then I'm gonna enjoy this. See you in a bit. There we go. Dutch school children love to eat this during their break time. They go to the supermarket and buy it. You can literally buy it in every supermarket. Uh, you can buy it at the stall sometime at the bakery. We just love it in here. Um, I got this one at the Dirk van der Broek supermarket. Uh, for me, this one tastes the best. Uh, I've tasted all the versions from the bakery, from all the different kinds of supermarkets. They all taste different. Like really, uh, and I found this one to be the best. Well, apart from the ones you can get like at a, a deli, like the Deli France or a different sandwich store where they make it fresh for you. Like they, they bake the dough, they, they add the sauce, they, they do everything fresh. That's definitely the best you can ever get a Fikno uh, But apart from that, for me, it's the Dirk one. So let's dive in. I just love the sauce, uh, it's, it's great. Mm. So the dough is nice and crunchy, it's so great. The sauce makes it very sweet. And the fignol, yeah, it's just the fignol. The combination is great. Yeah, I love it. Mm. You know the thing with puff pastry dough is well, let me show you. It gets all over your hands. And that's really annoying. But this thing is so tasty, it's not worth it. I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you in maybe half a minute. Mm -hmm. There, I'm finished with the Kadabra. I really loved it. It's my favorite treat for lunchtime. Of course, you shouldn't eat it too much because it contains a lot of fats, especially the puff pastry and the frikandel, of course, is deep fried. Not very good for you. You need a lot of running to get that fat off again. Um, but if I could, I would eat it every day. Of course, it's so tasty. It's great. If you guys want to see me do any more of these English videos with Dutch treats, like uh, maybe I can do Capsulon in the future, I love cups long, um, of course without salad, but maybe for this video I will make it uh, with salad for once, just one time. Um, yeah, or maybe something else, you know, a pancake, Dutch pancakes, love them as well. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see to it if I maybe want to do it, can do it even. If there's a lot of traction, like a lot of people like to comment or a lot of people comment the same thing, of course I'm gonna do it, anything for you guys on YouTube. Um, yeah, so please write a comment and also don't forget to subscribe my videos and I have a little question for my Dutch viewers, of course, um, where do you get the best frikandel broodje in the Netherlands? For me, I find them at the Dirk or, of course, fresh at the Daily France. Let me know down in the comments and I might try that frikandel broodje in a new video to say, sorry everybody, but somebody else said there is a better frikandel broodje, this is it. But for now, for me, number one is still the Dirk. 
So see you all next time. Thank you for watching and please like, comment and subscribe for my videos. Bye bye.